All right, so we're going to go a tad out of my uh, usual wheelhouse today. Uh, not only will I be drawing with something other than a mouse, which is this uh, uh, little pen with a soft tip on it. It's a cheap little thing, like maybe $5 for five of them on Amazon uh, to use with the iPad. And this is not the iPad Pro, so there's no pr pressure sensitivity or anything like that. That would be nice, but uh, just a regular iPad. And this could even be a phone uh, that you're drawing with. I did that a uh, little bit while I was playing around, just using my iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, the program that we're going to be using is uh, Adobe Illustrator Draw. And uh, if you want to just see what that looks like real fast, the, uh, the icon for it. So if you're kind of checking that in store, it's the one on the bottom left over here. Doop above the Xfinity so <laughs> app and uh, it's uh, it's pretty simple but it's a nice uh, sketching program I was kind of surprised by that and uh, even though I haven't tried this yet uh, you can save your files to uh, well there are automatically being saved to Creative Cloud but you can then bring them into Adobe Illustrator so apparently we are working with vector art but it, d it sure doesn't feel that way uh, so let's go over here and create a new project you can see on the far left we've got a little plus sign and uh, then once you do that, you are basically on your canvas. And uh, let's go over some of the uh, basic tools that we've got. So uh, here's one of them. Or actually, these first five brushes over here all kind of act the same. So if you were to click into them, you could see that uh, each is going to have a size, an opacity, and a color. So here's the size. I'm just kind of toggling this up and down as soon as I press into it. Draw out here. Uh, the opacity acts as expected. So now that's semi-transparent. And you kind of layer your color on top of that you know what, what you've been doing which we'll do a bit of and then of course your color so this is a you know you get your usual color wheel and then uh, if you want to uh, sample a color you can uh, pull out from it so just hold down pull out and then you get this little sampler out here and whatever is it dead center in the middle is going to be uh, the color that you're sampling and then the bottom left it says uh, cancel or okay do that and uh, then you can swipe uh, left with two fingers and this is going to erase things. And then finally, uh, basic tools, make a big circle, just click into the middle of it. And you can see it's going to fill that in. So uh, how cool is that? All right. Uh, let's actually uh, begin drawing something. Then we'll talk about the, oh, actually, one last thing. Uh, down here is an eraser. So see that little guy? That will erase things. Uh, but uh, yes, let's begin uh, drawing things. And uh, I'm going to go and just grab this uh, brush that has a nice little taper on it. Although the the lines that you see me draw here are probably not going to actually show up in the fill, finished illustration uh, because what I kind of found was easiest for me was to kind of initially sketch things out and then fill in the color underneath that and then on another layer kind of do my my finishing line. So we'll see if that uh, that formula works out. Yet again, um, so I'm going to draw ahead here, and um, this uh, to, for me to draw a perfect circle is a little tough. <laughs> and well, no, no head is really a perfect circle, but uh, for me to draw a circle that I'm happy with takes a little bit of time. And let's see, I heard my computer ding a few times, so let me shut that off. All right, can I get the chin over here? This is actually about what I was going for, and I'm going to do this guy kind of huddled over here. So his eye is going to be eh, maybe not looking so happy. Kind of an anime style eye. I'm going to make it a bit big like that. And yeah, certainly pretty sharp. And then his nose will be kind of just right over here. And he's kind of so, you know, in perspective. You might not see his, uh, his mouth at all. Then let's do big eye. All right. Something like that, but again, we don't want to go too crazy here because we're not. Uh, these lines we're probably not going to see. We're just going to use them for sketching things out. And in fact, I don't even want to see that pupil for right now. Let's just pretend we didn't do that. Okay, so the ear would be probably about here, but I'm going to give this guy kind of uh, Luke Skywalker hair, <laughs> and uh, so that '70s cut, you know, that I I wish I could do. Wish I could rock that haircut now. Uh, maybe a little something more like that. Uh, you know, when I have a this type view, and by the way, you can pinch with the two fingers and kind of zoom in and out. When I have this type view for for a head where you can, you can clearly see the top of it, I tend to think of things like a, a spider. So for, pretend this is a spider body. I, I'm going to start doing, you know, like little daddy long layer legs out from that uh, kind of central point down the hairline. So something like this, something like this, something like that. And kind of work your way 
back that way. And even if you didn't uh, want to show, you know, hairlines outside of like around around here, that's okay. You could just go through here and erase, and you've still kind of got the the basically the framework of a good, uh, you know, uh, hair parting, whatever that would be called. And I'm just gonna kind of do a little bit more here. Again, we're just sketching things out, and then. I'm going to do them sort of huddled over, so something like this. I'm going to kind of start from the back over here. And uh, this is obviously sort of a exaggerated, cute little drawing, so uh, the body's not going to be that big. I'm going to kind of cut it off right around there. And then do a little arm coming down this way. And maybe we could do a kind of a Luke Skywalker type figure. Maybe he's holding a lightsaber, Spider-Man style. I mean, come on, Marvel and Star Wars are going to merge soon enough, right? Maybe not in 50 years, but maybe in 100. <laughs> so, Spider-Man Jedi, right? So, could have a lightsaber. Well, that looks a little weird, but let's, uh, <laughs> uh, let, let's, uh, let's forget the lightsaber for now, and uh, let's fill this in with some color. So, just pretend it's the bottom part over here. It's kind of the shadow. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, I think that's a good enough sketch. Maybe do a little eyebrow or something like that. So I'm gonna go over here to the layers and you can see uh, where that, um, just that little button with the kind of two sheets of paper above it. Go over here and hit the plus sign. And, uh, and then what we're gonna do is put in here, brand new layer to draw underneath. So I wanna take the one that, that just got created, which uh, got created at the top and just move that below. So all you have to do is hold down on it. And then anything we draw over here is not going to interfere with what, we already, with what we already drew, and it's going to be below it too. So let's go over here to the color, and let's get a nice little color for us to work with. Uh, all, you can see this little slider down here that I'm moving that's, that was set too high, so we want it to probably be about over here. Then we could start with just a you know, Skywalker color. I'm really only calling him Skywalker because of his hair. Uh, okay, so let's uh, make the size a bit bigger. And you can see that I set the opacity to, you know, something uh, in the middle there. And you might wonder, oh, isn't that going to cause you problems? Let's make this even bigger. Weird overlaps of color, for example, like kind of right around that area under the eye. But that's actually okay. And I think um, you see stuff like that. Uh, in professional illustrators, uh, what, with what professional illustrators do, and you don't think twice about it because, well, one, you're probably looking at a great drawing, and so you just assume, you know, there wasn't anything that sketchy in there like that. So, for example, there's things that I would never think to do with vector art, you know, if I'm using the mouse and I'm in uh, let's say Adobe Flash that's where I usually animate I should say now it's usually where I draw but um, yeah so there's kind of weird things like that that uh, just happen I'm gonna take the opacity down just a little bit but when everything's said and done you go oh that actually did look kind of cool let's do a little bit of a shadow down here all right, and at any time we could go ahead and turn off the you know what we were kind of using as our guidelines. Uh, let's go ahead and put uh, some color in for the hair, and let's see. Let's try something like that. I'd take the opacity back up. Oop, I'm in sample mode. And it looks like I'm actually on the that uh, the line layer, so I don't want to be on that one. There we go. So this I'll probably just try to do like a solid fill in, which there we go, a little bit easier. And then kind of do some of that shading around it.
Hey, golly, I sure hope we end up with something decent at the end of this. Won't I feel like a chump? Actually, I'll really feel like a chump <laughs> if uh, this isn't recording at all. Which is, I've had some problems so far today getting this to record. All right, so now I'm going to take the opacity down. Just move that down a little bit. I may make that a little bit darker. And then do some stuff like this, kind of emanating out of that hairline. I'm not going to try to match up what I'm doing now to the actual lines too much that I started with. And this side would, of course, be probably a little bit darker if we we're going to do some light over there. So I think it's okay. And let's take the size down a little bit for some of these lines. Maybe emphasize a little bit more shadowing over there. In fact, we didn't really do much shadowing underneath the eye. We should probably go back and do a little of that too. In fact, let's just make this a bit darker and that a bit less opaque. Okay, now let's uh, let's get the body in there, and I'm gonna go ahead and change uh, brushes. Let's go with a bit of a maybe just this regular one. All right, take the opacity back up. I might actually so I have at least somewhere to go to make this a little bit darker and and uh, lighter. I'm gonna take the color down just a tad. Oops, I keep doing the same thing there. There it is. Okay. And that helps too because I can still sort of see the lines that I sketched in. And I should be able to fill this in. There we go. Okay, let's just, for the heck of it, see what this looks like without the lines on top. Okay. Move that out a little bit. And then, yes, let's take the darkest black we can find and then put that in uh, maybe, well, maybe not the darkest. Let's go ahead and take the opacity down a little bit. Oh, and I need to be working on this, this layer again. There we go. I'll start to kind of fill in some areas of this a bit darker. No, that's not right. I'll take that down even further. Looks like I might have drawn, did I? I did a little bit. See this layer? Can you see I drew a little bit up there by accident? That's okay. I think we can handle it. Oops, I don't want to type in there. Anyway. Okay, so you can see I'm kind of trying to shape out this hand a little bit down here. What would be a hand maybe? And uh, just kind of... Give an indication that that's a leg crouched over. Do something like that. And let me take uh, this little peachy color again. Let me back out of that. There we go. So I'll put the hand down there. Oop. I always forget to hit OK. There it is. OK. So I'll draw this over here. Maybe
maybe give a little indication that there's another hand there. And uh, let's see, let's grab um, kind of a gray color. There we go. I want to put a little light on the side of them. Take the opacity down, take the brush up a little bit. Something like that. There we go. Do that in certain places. Uh, let's. Um, I guess we should give his eye a little color. We forgot to do that, didn't we? Uh, let's make it uh, kind of a nice dark brown. Take that opacity up some. Maybe not that high. And of course, we could draw the, the whites of this eye on top of here later, but uh, let's just kind of fill that in. I'm not being too technical about that. Okay, that I can't stand. Jut <laughs> some line jutting out. Grab a kind of a white color. There we go. Okay, now now that we've got that, let's uh, work on another layer. Okay, so go over to our layers, let's make another one, and this will be our really more polished lines. And I do want to, let's just call it polished lines, that way I don't forget. Okay, and I need to move this guy up. Up, oh, for some reason it doesn't want to do that right now. There we go. Okay, steady hands. This is, uh, this is the big leagues now. I'm going to get this nice uh, tapered pen. And let me check the size. Okay, way too big. Let's take this down. Okay, that's probably about right. And of course, I can zoom in to really make things a bit easier. And I'm just going to draw right across there. If I don't get it the first time around, do it again. Uh, I think the line could actually be a little bit bigger now that I'm zoomed in. Okay. Oops. What was that? That was Xcode cleaning itself out. <laughs> My wife thinks that noise only happens when I crash. <laughs> and it actually happens anytime I quit the program. So it just automatically dumps out all the kind of data it doesn't need. And um, I'm gonna make these lines a little less dark. And so anyway, she'll laugh because she thinks I crashed. <laughs> and I, I haven't told her yet that no, it's not that I've crashed. At least not every time. <laughs> Some of the time it is. I don't know if we want to do these eyebrows or not. That's not positive there. I think we could stand to do a little bit more shading underneath that eyebrow. You know what? Let me switch back from what I'm doing now real fast. Just check that. Let's see. I'm just going to go to a different uh, 
oops, different uh, brush, so I can just kind of sample this out. Let's see, public color to sample. Okay. Yeah, I want to do something more like that. Okay, back to the task at hand. Polished lines. Let's go grab our little nice brush again. That was that guy. And you can draw this in. Uh, now that I'm kind of drawing over top the black, I think I do need to make the opacity pretty pretty high or pretty solid. Give a little bit more indication that there's a foot down here. <laughs> Boot or something. Okay, let's uh let's kind of check in with things here with the layers. Let me take off the that. So remember, that's, that's all of our little sketchy lines, which, oops, uh, take it back off again. Let me move back over here to the polish lines, okay. Um, and yeah, I think you might get to a point where you go, well, I can take them or leave them, you know. Uh, what I just did, let's undo that. I think I'd like to make that a little bit more solid. All right. Something like that. Although it's tough to get it in there right perfectly. I might have to go through and erase a little bit. All right, so let's get our eraser. Let's get the size kind of low, and then just kind of work over to the side. Yep, something like that. And what's bleeding out, we can also fix up too. And touch that up over there. Okay. Uh, let's do a little line underneath here at the eye, and I'm just going to make sure I'm back over here on my polished lines layer. Uh, let's take the opacity down. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Uh, let's work with the eye a little bit too. Take the opacity up some. I want to give this more of a dimensional effect. Something like that. I'm just going to keep going over and over again. Here we go. Uh, let me head back down to the kind of, kind of painted fill layer down here. Just want to get that little part. Okay. Uh, and then let's do a bit more cleanup. I'm going to go on another layer above the polish lines and 
gonna grab a color that is kind of like our skin color. This guy down here. Just just want to clean up that bottom part. Something like that. Zoom in a little. Okay, let's try to get it right this time. Ah, that's about what I'm going for. Okay, what do we think? Does he need a quote unquote laser sword? <laughs> uh, let's see. We could probably do one coming out like that. That makes it. Yeah, why not? Um, so let's try it. Let's just see what it looks like. And I get to share a funny laser sword story with you guys. Uh, so when the the Phantom Menace first came out, oops, I keep just undoing what I'm doing. There we go. Uh, I read an early review that was like pretty negative about it and um, you know I just I did not want to believe it that it could be bad and uh, and the guy said something about a laser sword in there and he was clearly just messing with people like me because I read it and I was like oh this guy's not even a fan you know how could he use how could he say laser sword instead of lightsaber and of course it's a reference inside of the movie that Anakin says something about a laser sword, the <laughs> kid Anakin. But I was duped. Although I, I, did, I didn't, I didn't uh, really figure out that that movie was not that great for quite a while. <laughs> I have to admit. Okay, so here we go. Keep taking the opacity down. I need to bring the size up a little bit. I need to mute whatever that is that keeps dinging. All right, so you want to do white in the middle of this. And let's just see how it looks with uh, dark background. So I'm going to go make one more layer. Move it down here. Oh, let's call it something background. And move it down. Doesn't seem to want to move down right after you make it. There we go. And to do this, let's just. Uh, Grab any old brush, we'll just make it a, let's see, kind of dark. Maybe don't want to make it too dark. Okay, so let's just make a big old square. Fill it in. Then we're pressed down and just fill into something. Whoa, I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> Obviously, it's because I don't have white. Uh, <laughs> now it's a dark Jedi. Cool. Uh, okay, well, if we're going to do this, I guess we better do it right. So let's go. Um, and make another layer. That's fine. I think it made it right above where we were at. And then let's just fill in the color white underneath boy you could have some fun with that though huh I 
and obviously that was showing through to anything that I didn't have a uh, fully op uh, you know opaque so my hair kind of got saved but not the face make sure we get all that <laughs> okay decent what do we think is it all right I feel like it the whole thing could get stretched up a bit let's uh, let's try merging some layers together so let's go over here and I know you can do this oops I didn't mean to make a new layer let's try that again let's go to um, uh, what is it I know you can do this I think I can oh merge down there it is okay so that little button merge down um, merge down and then oh you know what we ended up bringing back our sketch layer by doing that didn't we oh shoot well that's okay Okay, well, we'll leave this off of the background layer, that's for sure. We don't want to merge into that. So that way we can kind of keep it separate as this, you know. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, I was going to try to stretch this whole thing. Yeah, actually, I'm not, I'm not positive I can do that. Let's see. Well, maybe that's something for another day, and actually, or something for another program. So I can save this out now. It's actually saved across my entire uh, Adobe uh, uh, library, Creative Cloud library. So I can pick this up into uh, one of my other programs. And actually, this would be on my uh, iPhone right now if I wanted it to be. Just open up the app, and it should be there. And um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what this looks like in uh, Adobe Illustrator.